Hi, dear friends and patients and colleagues. Dr. Mai is here. And as you can see, uh, probably <laughs> who, who been to my clinic, I am in my home office and I am working from home today, helping people uh, in a distance. So with the virtual services and um, with advice and things like that. So as a response to COVID-19 pandemic, more and more medical offices are getting closed, surgeries are getting rescheduled, and most acupuncture clinics around the world are closed. So it's all happening for a good reason to not to spread the disease, and I am encouraging all of you to stay home as much as possible. Hospitals are getting overwhelmed with the COVID-19 patients. However, medical research is advancing every minute and, uh, and every, a few times a day, I am listening to medical advice, uh, to medical updates, seminars, and uh, reading scientific papers on the development of cures. So we don't know how this virus behaves. So I will share with you three things I know that will help. So number one, the most important thing is stopping the virus spreading, and it is to stay home to wash hands and keep your hands away from your face. So, so far, uh, the most important thing is to keep your hands away from your face because it's really hard not to get the virus on your hands and you cannot wash your hands so much. Uh, but if you're not going to touch your face, it's not going to get into your nasal pathways, your mouth, your ears, your eyes, as any uh, COVID respiratory viruses do. This is how they get inside of you. So this requires behavioral retraining. So with starting wearing masks or bandana at home is a good way to start doing that so you can catch yourself when you try to touch your face. So I did it today, this morning, and I realized how many times I try to touch my face. It's very unsettling. So it is not to protect yourself from droplets. It is to change a habit. It's much more likely to get it from your hands to your face than from a droplet in the air. Uh, and as a silver lining, I think that in a few months as a humanity, we'll have an impeccable facial skin if we stop touching our skin and the face. And at the same time, this behavioral habit will decrease our future exposure to any kind of respiratory viruses, including flu. Then uh, about cleaning, the latest CDC advice is to dilute five tablespoons of bleach on one quarter of water and a spray uh, around to clean your surfaces because uh, the virus is getting destroyed with the bleach solution. We again don't know how fast and if it does it very effectively, but so far it's the best. And the most important thing, when you clean it, when you touch something, again, don't touch your face and you will not get it even if it's on the surface that you, you are cleaning. Now, the progression of the disease of the COVID virus starts with fever. So it's a fever, cough, and shortness of breath. So almost always it starts with a fever, and if you have fever, stay at home, isolate yourself as much as possible, and use home remedies. I, I like using uh, home remedies as a natural, but it's advisable right now to take acetaminophen, which is Tylenol versus ibuprofen. Looks like that ibuprofen can create some adverse reaction for this virus. I don't know if it is a completely true or not. It's the latest news. But if you have acetaminophen in any form, it's better to, to take it for fever. And go to hospital only if you develop shortness of breath. Uh, so according to the video I just watched, that sounds like a good advice in a few scientific papers I read, only a tiny percentage of people end up on a ventilator and they are soon to be released home if they develop shortness of breath. So, uh, and of course, some people are staying in a hospital. Now, let me go back to the uh, wearing a mask. Uh, masks are impossible to find. N95 masks, I believe myself, we should uh, donate to hospitals, to doctors and nurses who are on the front line because they have a shortage of them and we do not need N95 masks because we are not in a direct prolonged con contact with um, uh, sick patients. 
Now, what we can do to retrain our behavior to touch the face is to wear a bandana or a medical mask if you have one. You don't need to change it that often because it's not, again, for your protection or somebody else's protection unless you are coughing. But so you, if you are not coughing, it is just for the protection. It's good to wear something around your face. And I have a few, show and tell, uh, bandanas, few different kinds that you can wear. I like bandanas. I wear them when I track and um, I have a few kinds to show to you. So let's start with the regular bandana. And this is the bandana, just like a triangle. And I usually how to wear bandanas, how I wear it is like this, right? So regular bandana. Now you're going to wear it around your face. Just like that. That's it. Here you go. So, and it will stay on. The next one, I'll show to you a buff. So buff is just like a hose. You see that? Just like that. So usually, I wear it as a scarf, like this. And it's possible to wear it on the head, like a headpiece. But as a bandana, I usually wear it to protect from dust when I track, like this. And it doesn't um, slip because this is designed just for that. The next example <clears throat> is just a big handkerchief, like that. You are making a triangle out of it, and again, Tying around your face, like this. And wearing it around your house or outside or if you go to a store. It will prevent, say if you go to a store and you need to pick up groceries and you are looking through the groceries and then to prevent yourself accidentally to touch your face, this is a very good thing to do. And I have my favorite bandana. It's very soft, it's wonderful. I also wear it like that to prevent my hair from you know, going all over my face when I trek or hike. It's very cool to wear it around. It's my actually favorite one for that matter because it gives, uh, it's, it's very relaxed. This is how it's created. So it is relaxed, it's like this. So easy to breathe. And again, you can create it yourself from any piece of material you have. So there are different kinds you can do. You can improvise yourself. You can make it from scarves. Again, it is to protect your own hands to touch your own face and to touch your hair like I just did <laughs> because it's such a big habit. Um, the better you will protect yourself, the easier it's going to be for you and for your loved ones in our social isolation. And I am so glad to show you this video. Stay tuned. I will come back with more tips and tricks and uh, more explanations of what we can do during this time, as well as I will update you on what we can do online. We are working on meditation, on group hypnosis, uh, on different classes that we can support each other uh, as a healthcare practitioners and also service our patients. Okay, so have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.